Thank you. Thank you, Andy. And uh, thank you to Civilization for having us here trying this very risky live demo presentation. So <laughs> you, you'll be nice. Um, maybe some of you have seen Anthony Ross uh, from Zbox presentation yesterday. That was all about entertainment and participation TV. So today it will be about sport because Delta Tre is all about sport. And we're not a startup, as you can see, and I'm not 21 years old, of two. Huh? <laughs> so 1986, we have seen everything in the sport business in terms of media and then at some point digital media. Uh, we have offices with headquarters in Torino in Italy and London. And then we have commercial branches all over the world. Um, our clients are typically broadcaster and media, and you see some big names in there, or sponsor and sport governing bodies, other big names uh, there, as you can see. But also, we have, we, we have been so lucky to cover so many events that are like the biggest event you can imagine in sport. And that's where, if you want, in so many years, we created a huge sport experience, which is one of our assets. And you can see some football guys, Olympics, other sports. I don't know if you follow the uh, Athletic World Championship in Moscow. We have 40 people there. It was a great event for us because we did also the mobile apps. And basically, um, Delta Tre is a great experience in sport and digital together. So these experiences have been created worldwide. We have been in every place where a sport has been, has been. Okay. So let me play a short video that tells better than my words what we do in sport. Imagine if there was a way to make sports events come to life for audiences everywhere using innovative technology and creativity. Delta Trey does exactly that. Our aim is simple, sharing sports incredible story as widely as possible with our products across every platform and device, distributing the experience to everyone. How do we make it possible? The venue is where the drama is playing out. Fans captivated by what they see. Delta Train knows that they will want more. Using our on-stage products, our team carefully gathers information, data. Data feeds Matrix, our result system, giving context, capturing the true story of each event for sports federations and content owners. Our graphic suite, Magma, making data beautiful, helping broadcasters enlighten their audiences. Television connects with our other platforms too. When data merges with video, an even greater power emerges. Our groundbreaking video player is part of our range of online products. Diva allows you to watch every incident with a click. Connect what you're seeing to the facts, live. And it can serve sponsors as well. The best sport is a spectacle that premium brands want to associate with. Of course, sport is all about telling stories, which we remember all our lives. Our content management system, Forge, is built for storytellers, journalists, presenters and pundits, as well as fans. Delta Tray's live blogging tool spreads words, pictures, and video across every platform. A way to engage with the world of social media. Podium is our end-to-end -end results offering. It provides cutting-edge digital solutions for the Olympics, as well as for other sports and events. And backstage, Delta Tray has a team of people and products working tirelessly to deliver. So, whether it's our unique video technology fast forward, giving data and video assets the love they deserve, or it's our sports event management system, Arena, helping organizers deliver another wonderful event, Delta Tray will stand with you, inspiring passion, bringing sport to life. Delta Tray at the heart of digital sport. So I think you get a grasp of uh, what we do, and I think mm, it's important to then go to the core of what we are presenting today. I think it's about watching, experiencing live sport. And 
as I'm getting old, I like to go back to the old times where it was about being at a stadium or being in a, a Formula One circuit or being in a ski slope or watching it on TV. And what you get is video with some TV graphics integrated, depending on the sport that's crucial or less. And what happened next in the mid-90s is then internet and web came and we started to develop websites. So you would have TV, I watch TV, or I go to my desktop computer in the office or somewhere else and I follow there. Maybe even live if I'm not lucky to be in front of the TV. But then at some point digital video came in, but it was a simple, maybe it's sometimes short form. But at some point uh, um, Delta Train introduced this thing that is called Diva, that is a, a video player with enhanced integration of data synchronized with the video. And that obviously after 2007 went into mobile platform as well. So we are creating something that is not only watching passively, but it is interacting with the video and interacting with the extra information and participation that you can create on this kind of device. Let me show you a very quick demo of what it means on a device, right? Small screen now. So we're watching live a uh, football match and you. And if I move in time, because the first thing that is important is we can access the timeline. So imagine we are now somewhere in the match, it's 1-1, one, one, and I want to go back and I see there is a goal here. So I want to go back and I want to go to the goal. So I can access high quality video like a DVR. I can go everywhere, but not just like sometimes you do in YouTube that you move the scroll. So that's not easy. I don't know where I'm going. Here I'm going specifically to a goal, and I'm just watching the goal again because there is a moment where I want to watch it again, right? So on top of that, we have also integrated different things like commentary, also clickable. So I click on the commentary, I go to a specific event. Data that come from our data feeds that you see we were creating with our application, specific statistics, all of this is synchronized with this exact moment where the match is. So if I move back, all the stats will move back to exactly where they are. And we can get sophisticated, different sport will have different extra data on top of it, okay? And that's the concept of Diva for us. So, but if we look at this scenario, we have a, if you want, a more 360 degrees vision of what a user can do to really experience live sport. So we said it's, for us, our Diva experience. You have a device, you're somewhere, and you can get everything in one place. But, and that's why we are here with Civolution, TV and second screen. So there's something on TV, and the device is used for this second screen experience. And why, on one hand, I like this second screen things is because it's not a technology-driven trend. It's not 3D, it's not 4K. It's not people in technology creating something and hoping people will adopt it. No, none of this device was created thinking, oh, they will use it in front of TV, okay? So it's user starting to create a use case, create a trend. And then it, why it's important for the business, why everybody talks about second screen, also here at IBC. Because broadcaster realized that in a normal scenario, um, in a sport, sport governing bodies selling rights, uh, broadcaster worldwide, 100, 200, buying rights, they would have a control environment. But then someone comes with the second screen, and that's not in the control. Anybody can create a second screen experience and maybe do something around what you have the rights for. So obviously broadcasters say, wait a moment, this is something that we may have to look into it. So it's important for broadcasters to understand how to connect the second screen to what they're doing on the first screen, to really leverage everything, also in terms of monetization. We also want to have a broader view and think, okay, I'm on the device, I'm watching the video and I have the data together. I'm moving in a big screen and I experience my second screen, but why not at the stadium? I go to the stadium, I may have, in, if I'm in a safe place, <laughs> bring my um, tablet with me. When I, during Confederation Cup, I saw some Brazilian fans very close to the pitch waving their iPad like that when they score. So it means devices are coming to the stadium with us. And also there, the first screen is the live match. What, what better than that? And we can create experiences if stadium have enough connectivity and there is technology to make it happen. And we go farther and think, okay, imagine what a Google Glass can do in a stadium with extra information or with extra participation. So take a quick look at what this different experience mean for the user. I think if you have seen Anthony Ross' presentation, he had similar balls <laughs> in a different shape to say, okay, there are different categories, or categories of information. So for Diva, everything is together. You can control, 
you can discover new video, especially when you think about something like the Olympics, where there are so many events happening together, you need a discovery mechanism, even if you have everything on digital. You want to enhance, as we show you, with the data, with the stats, with everything that we can gather around the, the sport events. And you want to participate. You will want to poll, rate a, vo a goal, and do things that let you participate in the, in the live sport events. But also, it's a great advertisement opportunity, because everything is there. It can, you can connect sponsor to what is happening in football. The second case, and the one that is more relevant to this case for the Civolution Sync Now technology, and we will go a bit detail, not really technical. I'm not anymore a CTO, Chief Technology Officer, and not so technical now. Second screen is a bit different. Same categories, but they mean a bit something different. For example, Discover is more maybe a bit about understanding where things are on TV. So Electronic Programming Guide, DPG, or the sports schedule. When is the 100 meter final? With the data and the participation, it's similar. It is just disconnected, OK? But as it was important, as you saw in our little demo, that we have the video and the data fully synchronized, how do we make it happen in this case? Because one channel of data is coming here, and there is an app on a mobile device, and the normal video is playing on TV. So basically, Civolution has created Sync Now with using audio, inject a signal that the component that is on the app understands and can synchronize what is going on here with what is going on here. So even if you have different video stream and the timelines are off by some seconds, you can still understand exactly when in the match you are and connect all the data experience to that. Quickly on the stadium experience, just to show you the, if you want the, the vision around all the holistic um, live sport experiences. In this case, it can be about stadium, the logistics, the parking, or shopping. I can order something, or maybe there is a discount if I buy the shirt of the player that has scored the goal. So you can create a lot of fun experience for, you, for fans there. Enhance, similar, and participate. Maybe people can shoot photos, and you put the best one on the scoreboard. So create a digital, physical, immersive experience. And adverts is, again, a way of monetizing what we are building here, right? So if we go to the demo, and <laughs> it's a light demo, so <laughs> I'm putting my hands. Uh, I'll just tell you more or less how this is built, OK? There is a live match. It's football. It can be any sport, but it's football in this case. There is a net host broadcaster, as we call it, that we create a video feed with complex operation happening here. And we'd be given to what I told in broadcasters, many in the words. With the Civilution technology, something will happen to the audio. Okay, a time code will be in injected, and some triggers will be injected. We'll come back to that later. So the live match will go on TV. This, I think, everybody's familiar. On the other end, that's also quite standard, some sport data will come to Delta 3, created by us or someone else. And this sport data, as a feed, will reach the app on the mobile device, right? But we also have the second thing. So in, in the Civilution, uh, just to show I'm very technical, technology, this is an outbound data feed. This is an inbound data feed. What it means is this information comes with the audio. So the audio has a time code. So it tells the mobile app we are at this exact moment. But it also has some trigger information. And on the other end, we have our sport data feed, which has a lot of that data. Because imagine how much with tracking statistics or this will increase. So a lot of data for sport are coming there. Few information for broadcaster are coming there. Why? Do we do it like that? The sport data are one for 200 broadcasters, but every broadcaster will have different reason to create a trigger. For this example, we use advertisement. So imagine at, at some point in the sport, when it's possible, there will be either a banner or a complete advertisement clip. Okay? Each broadcaster will tell us when it happens and what advertisement it will be, so we can connect the experience here. That's why we have these two data feeds. OK, so let, let's try this very dangerous demo now. So basically, I was watching Diva. Then I enter a home, and, everybody's and I'm late, and everybody's already watching the game there. So this understands, because of Sync now, that oh, there is a match on TV. So let's go second screen. Uh, absolutely, yes. And what happened to the device, it's, it becomes a second screen device with information about the play-by-play, -play, some live blogging about what's happening around in the stadium, some specific player stats, some team stats, like this. 
all synchronized, obviously, with what is happening there, right? And we can have things like man of the match and vote. We have some community getting from Twitter or Facebook what's going on, what is hot, what is creating trouble to the fans on social media. And also highlights, video create enduring. So if there is something boring or you know someone is injured, I can go and rewatch something there. But look what happens now, hopefully. An intriguing first half, plenty of incident, both keepers involved. Okay. The, the broadcaster put on out. At the same time, we create an experience on the tablet that can leverage this advertisement. Possibly not in a, I say, stupid way of just replaying the clip here, because I would not watch TV and I would leave my tablet on the couch. I need to create some value for the fans. In this case, it's a simple example. Vote for the man of the match. It can be something where you can buy things with a discount, something that engage me, so I will keep my tablet. And especially in football, there are not so many occasions with pauses. If you take American sport, there is a lot of time for second screen. So that's the first case. Using the outbound data, the inbound data feed, we created a trigger, and this reacted to what was going on there. So if we go to the next case, and we need to wait that it sync again, sorry. Okay, so let's go second screen again. Absolutely, yes. And I, I'm here. And then something amazing, I have to say, in this case, is happening on the first screen. This guy, some. Amazing. Amazing, right? And what I get here? Immediately, something happened. The sports data tells me Arian Robin has scored the goal. So I can create this an example. I can show you when he scored the last goal, all the statistics. I can give you more information about what is happening on the first screen. And that is possible because of the Think Now technology about Civolution. And, and, and that's it. So basically, our vision is a bit larger than second screen. That's why we call it from second screen to multi-screen. We see fully digital going to second screen, where we need the help of Civilution Sync now to create the same experience, moving to the stadium or event live experience. We're also looking at what happened with technologies like DLNA, Apple, um, AirPlay, or the Chromecast, where you I can have the video on my device, and I can stream it to a big monitor. So I think the multiplication of ways the fans can experience live sport needs creativity, needs innovation, but also I think even if everybody says that, but then everybody forgets it when execute. The fans is crucial, the user is crucial. We need to understand what he wants to do, where he wants to do it, which devices will he have. And it's becoming more and more engaging for us, but, and, and the passion we have is really towards understanding what the user needs. Thank you. Carlo, thank you very much for fantastic insight into the future of uh